This is Mallory with IMG, and today we're going to be talking about dynamic content. Dynamic content is available in Pardot editions higher than Pardot growth. To find dynamic content in Pardot, you'll want to go over to the content tab. And then on the left hand side, we have dynamic content. Dynamic content is essentially advanced merge fields that you would use in your email templates and list emails. So just like you would use high first name merge fields in an email template, you can insert dynamic content merge tags in your email templates to display different types of images or even different blocks of text to your prospect. So in order to create dynamic content, you'll wanna go over here and add your dynamic content. I'll go ahead and name this test. You can also stick it into a folder if you'd like. You can tag it also. Here's where you're going to set the default content. So this is what the viewers are going to see if they do not match the criteria set by the dynamic content rule. So most of the time this is going to be left blank or if you wanted everyone else to see a specific set of text or an image, you can go ahead and write in what you would like everyone else to see. Go ahead and hit save. And then down here near variations, this is where you're going to set your criteria of who should see this special piece of content. So you can do it based off of any of your default or custom prospect field values. So, so for this example, I'm going to go ahead and say everyone in city Cranston is going to see this piece of content instead. And I'll go ahead and type in my new content. and hit save. You would be able to add an image by clicking this image icon here and uploading your image through this upload tab. Once I'm happy with my content, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I can add different variations also. I believe there's up to 25 different variations you can have. If you wanted to say city equals Providence for a different variation, you would add that here under add variation and you can remove them just as easily. Once you're happy with your dynamic content, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and hit save. And now our piece of dynamic content is ready to go. So the next step to make sure that it works is to go over to the Pardot email tab. We're going to just create, go into this test email template just as an example. I'll edit the email template. Once you're within your email template, you can click into where you want your dynamic content to live. And the dynamic content icon is this lightning bolt over here. And in the drop down, I can select my dynamic content. It'll show you the default content and the variation that you've created. So we'll set it to the default content and hit OK. And you'll notice that it shows up in the template just like a normal merge tag. Now, if we wanted to make sure that it works, we can go over to the preview tab and we'll select any prospect. They should see the variation text. That's the default for anyone that doesn't live in the city of Cranston. So now if we wanted to make sure that our dynamic content is working for those with the variation, we would just wanna select a prospect that we know has the value Cranston for the city field. So I'll go ahead and select my record that I know says Cranston. And there's where you'll see the variation at the top where that merge tag for my dynamic content lives. So that's how dynamic content works. You can get really creative with it and change up blocks of text. You can change up images just based on your prospect field values, default or custom. It's a really great tool to save time on email templates when doing a mass email send. Thank you.